So out this morning on the Stornoway Angling Association Loch Ach Moor, which can be a fantastic loch, and but it also has periods when it goes completely dead. I mean, the fish must be there and they must be eating something, but nobody can quite explain that. Um, and as you can see, the Anglin Association have a boat on the loch, and it also sits below the transmitter at Edishill. So it's maybe not the nicest location for any loch in the Hebrides, but it can be a fantastically productive loch on the right day. I'm probably going to start with the dry daddy again, just because I'm playing with that as a wee experiment, and then we'll see how it go. So I saw a fish move up here somewhere, I'm not quite sure exactly where, but it can't do any harm but to put the fly in the general area in case he's patrolling but about, because I'd patrol about myself. Only a wee doubler, but nonetheless a wee fish, I suppose. There he goes. Something worth noting about the Stornoway Angling Association is that visitors can get effectively associate membership for about a hundred pound, get you more fishing than you could ever cope with in a lifetime, including the River Creed, which is a very noted salmon fisher fishery, and the two lochs on the river. So you can fish it in nearly any conditions because if you, if you don't get water, obviously you can go to the lochs and there's boats on the lochs and uh, you also get the brown trout lochs. I don't know how many of them there are. Um, I'm going to say more than 10, but um, I, I really can't remember. But uh, And some of them also have boats on them and some of them are very good lochs. I mean, RSA is producing an average uh, weight of nearly two pound of, you know, for brown trout, which is pretty good for wild brown trout. Well, having persevered for a little while with a dry fly with not much success, to be honest. I think it's time to make some changes and get the wet fly on. Apart from anything else, I've got a wee wave in the loch now. So that might be productive for me. Um, though the wind's come quite cold, which is mm, not encouraging. I think a cup of tea is necessary before we can go much further.
so I've gone on to the intermediate tip on the basis that nothing much was moving on the surface and we'll see how it goes um, but uh, the loch has been pretty dour today There we go, not a big fish for Ochmore, but a hard fighting wee boy. And back he goes. There we go, another wee Ochmore fish. Again, not a great fish for Ochmore, but nice to get one. I'm starting to feel hungry, so I think it's time to go and make some lunch. And to be honest, the rain and the wind don't look too far away, so Maybe once I've made some lunch, I'll start working my way back. But I'd like to try and get out to where the sheep are over there on that point. Because um, there's like scurries off it. Maybe in or on the edge of the scurries, we might move a wee fish. I don't know. Because I haven't been very successful. I've only had three fish for the morning. rock unfortunately that's okay so that's me nearly back into the car now 
after fishing the Stornoway Angling Association loch at Ochmore. They actually have three lochs out here, but it's worth keeping it in mind. I had probably seven, eight fish today, nothing huge. Biggest maybe three quarters, maybe a pound. Um, but it can produce good fish. Um, and the other thing is, uh, as a visitor even, you can get associate membership of the, of the club for about a hundred pound that covers you for a year and provides some great salmon, sea trout, brown trout, river, and loch fishing and really you can't beat it if you if you're looking to holiday in the Hebrides and fish <laughs>